Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's Donna. So I am patiently waiting for my mail girl. My mailman is on vacation this weekend. I just want to make sure that she comes because um, I don't want to miss her. I've already spoken to her. She said she was going around the community and doing some mailboxes and then she's going to be back. But I want to make sure I don't miss her because I have a lot of packages going out. I just sent all of my big packages out uh, UPS. So you think you want to be a reseller. This is the life of a reseller. It's crazy. And I'm worried about the rain. I've got all the packages out on the porch. And I don't usually like to do that because the less I handle merchandise, the the better I feel about how much money I made selling it. You know, I talk about it all the time. You, you bid on it, you have to go get it, you have to sort it, you have to distribute it, you have to make up lots, or you have to post it on eBay, or you have to, in my case, bring it to auction. And the more you handle something, the less profit you make. So I usually have all the packages um, inside my little foyer porch here at the reseller cottage it used to be called the zen room but now it's called the box room because <laughs> it's loaded with boxes um boxes and outgoing orders so i usually have i would usually put them there and wait for the post man to come um, but today i wanted to uh put them out here on the porch because <sighs> there's a lot of them there's a lot of them and I just needed to just to clear my head and clear my mind so I did I put them out here on the porch and now I'm watching the weather and I'm hoping that she doesn't forget about me because I don't have her phone number I only have ship's phone number and she is filling in for ship this week he's on vacation usually with ship if I don't see him coming back I'll text him did you forget about me and he'll say no never and to have to take these packages, load them into the truck, and bring them to the post office, no. And there's a lot of stuff here that I feel like, you know, I really want to get out today. So we're just going to patiently wait and hope that she shows up. I'm pretty confident that she will. Um, I broke one of my favorite shoes today, which I'm so angry about. I wear these Crocs. And they're my absolute favorite and they broke look at so I'm wearing I don't have another pair of shoes here at the reseller cottage I only have these so I'm like limping around with uh, a broken shoe so I need to get online and order myself another pair of Crocs because they are my favorite they are like walking on clouds and this is not a paid commercial for Crocs <laughs> and I like the um, I like the Crocs that are the open toe ones the you know not the not the closed ones I don't like the closed ones I think those are the ones that most people kind of like make fun of <laughs> so anyways so as we wait to do to do to do to do you're waiting um, I think that I'm gonna reach out to my lady with the arts and crafts and the ornaments that's up in um, Sebastian Melbourne is it Melbourne or Sebastian well they're both right next to each other and probably make plans to head up there today's Wednesday I don't know if I'll do it either Thursday or Friday I feel like I'm gonna lose a whole day you know doing that it's two hours up and then at least two or three hours there loading up the truck and then two hours back to get the inventory so I have inventory there that I've already paid for so I do need to go up and get it gotta reach out to Camille back from outer space and see when she's available she took the ride with me last time and it was you know it was nice to have the help and the company I enjoy her company immensely so as we wait and I ramble um, it's probably uh, about 3 20 in the afternoon and we will be going live this afternoon about 4 30 so I do have to get myself ready to go live to have another selling event I've been shipping up until this point probably started shipping about 7 30 this morning haven't taken a break yet um, I need to get myself something to eat and um, reseller life is pretty tough you guys it's you know it's it's pretty tough you uh, 
I think that you work really hard, you know, and when people say, oh, it's great to, you know, work for yourself and be your own boss, you're really never really your own boss, you know, because you have um, a responsibility to people, you know, when you invoice people and you need to get their inventory out and if you miss a lot, you know, it's almost like, you know, someone contacting you or coming into a live which I really don't recommend you guys please don't do that um, because it kind of throws off the rhythm you know you know my phone number you, you, you know you can call me my phone number is listed down below um, and you know when someone comes in and they're like oh I'm you know missing a package or I haven't received a package always feel like you can reach out just during a live is just not a good time to reach out because it like I said it kind of throws off the rhythm right of um, you know the good mood and then you have to kind of stop and someone like me like I stop immediately and I go and I look and I'll rewatch a video I'll go look for an invoice you know we had an incident last night where someone said they received um, something from me that they didn't order and lo and behold I didn't send it to them they received it from someone else and the return address was a P.O. box and I don't use a P.O. box so that kind of like threw me off a little bit because it's a very good customer and I'm like what did I send her what did I send her so you know being self-employed is is you know it can be it can be tough you know it can be tough you um, you know you when you make a mistake you know I used I used an example once when I you know I had made a mistake and I used an example if I was working in a bank and then I kind of got like you know pounced on and and said that was a bad example because if you make a mistake working at a bank you get fired no questions asked okay so that was a bad example but you know people make errors I mean I used a bank it was kind of like a you know a bad example but people make mistakes at work all the time I mean you make mistakes and then you just fix your mistakes and you know people say that's what erasers are for is to erase your mistakes I mean as long as it's not like detrimental like everything can be fixed everything can be fixed you know it's it's not that hard and I'm getting really nervous now because she's not coming back and you can see the weather see how cloudy it is today here in South Florida so yeah um, I'm not perfect I'm not perfect this racket that I this business this racket oh here she comes is it's tough it's a tough racket and um, no one taught me how to do this. No one showed me how to do invoices. No one, Federal Express and UPS, the only one we're missing is, um, no, USPS, the only one that we're missing is DHL. They're all here in this neighborhood. It's amazing how many people order um, in this neighborhood. Honey, why don't you pull up right here? Yes, that's too far. Look how many packages I have. You, you got it. You got this too far away <laughs> um i have angelina here with me inside i don't know what she's doing let's see if she'll come out and help bo 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 I just, uh, I just broke my shoe. I'm so mad. There you go, honey. How was your day today? Good. Was it? Mm -hmm. Now, do you have a regular route? Or are you like a floater and just help um, people that are on vacation? I just help people that's on vacation. You what? I help people that's on vacation. Oh, you just help? Oh, so are you hoping to get your own route? Yes. Good. How long have you been with the post office? Almost three years. Three years and they haven't given you a route yet? <laughs> what the heck? You must be, you know what? You must be a really good fill-in. <laughs> That's why they're not good. They're looking at you. This is the deal. This is, I've got it figured out. They're looking at you and they're saying, boy, she's really good. 
figuring out people's roots. <laughs> and that's why they're not giving you your own vote. Because, you know, this is going to be tough to go onto someone's route and, you know, have it all figured out. Yep. Ship is on vacation. Oh, yes. Yes. What can I offer you? You want some chocolate, tangerines, bottle of water? What do you want? Take a water. You get to take a water? See if there's one in the refrigerator. There's definitely frozen ones, but in this heat, they'll melt in a minute. I've been going. What time do you start? Eight. Eight? Yep. Oh, that's not bad. Sometimes. I started at 7.30 this morning. Oh, okay. I have one more after this. And that... I gotta put like some more. Ice cube. <laughs> put some more in the refrigerator. Thank you. Thanks, honey. Will you be here tomorrow? Yeah. No, 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 no. Tomorrow is gonna be the other, the other carrier. Will you leave a note in the mailbox for them to stop here for me? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Actually, don't bother. I might go out of town tomorrow. I gotta pick up some inventory, so I might not do shipping tomorrow. So don't bother. It's fine. All right. We'll see you on Friday. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Friday. And Saturday. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. Thanks. Have a good rest of the day. All right. So, packages are out. USPS is out. Federal um, UPS is out now to get ready and do an auction. Start all over again tomorrow. This is the reseller life. Bye, you guys. Thanks for watching. I'm out of breath. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe down below and hit the bell icon to see when I subscribe and when I go live. All right. Thanks. We'll see you soon.